Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb Out TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy, Gold Mouth Short. Let me get straight down to business. We finna talk about that boy, Gilly the Kid, talking about rap a lot, running down on them at the club when they was with uh, 8 Ball MJG after a show. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know the Memphis legends from Orange Mound, Tennessee. They came to Texas and signed with Suave House. Everybody know uh, Suave House had beef with Rap-A-Lot, Tony Draper. And you know what I'm saying? It's allegedly that Rap-A-Lot got uh, Tony Draper out of the game after he was doing so many uh, bad deals. But Gilly the Kid spoke on the incident when he was uh, ducking down in the car trying to hide from Jay Prince and the big uh, bodyguards he had because, you know, Jay Prince, he be having them uh, boxers with him, man, and boxing trainers and stuff when they go out to the club. And they had a big monstrous size seven-foot uh, tall dude waiting to beat up anybody that was from Suave House. And, you know, the promoter had rushed 8 Ball and MJG out the building allegedly, you know what I'm saying? And uh, gave them they back in and told them to go and get up out of there, man. Because uh, Jay Prince was just arriving. As soon as they had got done and got to the back, they had got rushed out of there. But you know what I'm saying? Jay Prince was trying to see Tony Draper. You know what I'm saying? But Tony Draper had done sent 8 Ball MJG and Gilly the Kid, them out there knowing that they had some beef. You know, they had been talking on the phone earlier that day, and Jay Prince had done said he was going to pull up on him, and he pulled up on him a hundred and something deep. The whole parking lot was shut down. Eight Ball MJG allegedly had to duck their heads down and tell Gilly the Kid in the back seat to duck his head down. And Gilly the Kid didn't know what was going on. He didn't know, does Eight Ball MJ do this every time? because they some type of big stars. Nah, he's saying them boys were scared. They were scared for their life, man. They were saying, duck down, man. They go J Prince. That's rap a lot. So, you know, Gilly Kid, he just followed through. But he didn't know what was going on. He, on, he, he just cool with everybody. He ain't running from nobody. But they was trying to say, man, that boy J Prince is a man to be feared, man. And Tony Draper, if he would have been at that club that night, it would have been some more than some just some talking because the dude come up there with 100, 150 dudes, 150 deep. And you know what I'm saying? That beef they had with Teela, you know what I'm saying? That went resolved because, uh, you know, uh, Tony Draper was doing some uh, hectic tactics himself. He was running down on artists. So I guess Jay Prince wanted to pay him a visit with a seven foot tall bodyguard with a whole bunch of other street dudes from the boxing gym. And Gilly Kid said, man, that was the last time he ever went out because he had to dodge and uh, run from people, and he don't like doing that. And 8 Ball MJG, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really too much spoke on that, man. But they had to go through it, man, back in them days because they had cats out to get them, man, trying to rob them, take advantage of them. They was in the state. Well, they wasn't really from. Them cats had guns and stuff like that. It's a lot of shows. Them boys had to just get up out of there. You remember 8 Ball and JG was doing shows for $100, $50 a piece, man. They was just trying to make their music. They ain't saying they the hardest thing out there. They was making cool music, man. Pimp music, you know what I'm saying? So I salute 8 Ball and JG, man, for going through it. Through them hard times, man, when people trying to kill you, man, your record label sour and it's just doing bad business. And, you know, black on black business, man, you know, they like to handle stuff in the streets. You know what I'm saying? The cease and uh, the cease letters don't work. And, you know what I'm saying? Both of uh, them were sending each other those letters back and forth. So the labels, man, they couldn't stay together, man. Somebody had to move, man. And Tony Draper had to go to Atlanta and start over, and he went to the Cali and uh, made some more moves with Ice Cube and stuff like that. But, yeah, man, uh, Gilly the Kid, he was just laughing about it. 
even though I know it happened to be true, even though Eight Ball MJG won't admit it. But the only thing they can do is laugh too, man, because that's what the platform about, man, telling those stories, man, real stuff that happened, man. You know what I'm saying? Jay Prince ain't a man to be, uh, he's a man to be feared. So if you was running from him, it really ain't no big deal. You know what I'm saying? At least you weren't running from Shug Knight or something. Then Shug Knight slap you around. But Tony Draper, uh, I don't know if they ever really squashed that beef, man. They should have just came together and got some bags together. Uh, rap a lot should have let Tony Draper come in there and be the vice president and join them to, uh, labels together and man them boys probably can uh take that level them labels to a real solid major label right now both of them was considered independent but swap house had uh more bigger hits if you ask me but you know i can't leave out all the ghetto boy stuff so uh actually rap a lot had a bigger label but it's like 8-Ball MJG music, it was like Universal, man, and they were just able to sell a lot of albums, too, and they was doing it in the garage and recording in people's houses and stuff, man. It didn't take that much money to make an 8-Ball MJG album, man. You know what I'm saying? Them boys would go lock up in the room, man, in the park, man, and just uh, nail a big hit, man, and they had a whole bunch of uh, hits. So that's what I'm saying. Suave House was number one at one point in time, and Rap A Lot was trying to find a new artist because uh, Ghetto Boys had broke up. And that's at that time when uh, Rap A Lot started bullying Suave House, st sticking their nose to Suave House business. And you know what I'm saying? Suave House had to uh, fight or just move out of town, man, because the city was too uh, small for both of the labels to be out there in Houston. And they was like, rap a lot was a story and everybody from DJ Screw, uh, these up and coming rappers and cats up out of uh, Dallas and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying, 8-Ball MJG, they kept them boys low key, out of range, out of sight. They only came out when it was show night. So that's why uh, J Prince could never get them boys. But 8-Ball MJG, they went on to do solo things, and you know what I'm saying? To this day, they still uh, doing shows on the Legend Tour. They out there with 8 Ball MJG every other night doing shows. They even went on Willie D podcast, but not all that stuff swept on the rug. But back in the days, it was real, real, and them boys was running from them cats, man. And that's just a real story, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace of mind.